Okay. I'm really not a beauty girl. <laughs> this is gonna be such a mess. Before I get into this video, I just wanna say thank you for all the support on my channel recently. I'm so close to 170 subs, which I know in the grand scheme of things seems really small, but at the start of the year, my aim was to hit 200 subs at the end of the year, and I really didn't think I was gonna get to it because I just thought my channel just wouldn't grow and it'd just be something I do, but it's actually growing slowly, so I just wanna say thank you. I've had so much support, and yeah, it's just so nice, and I don't know, it just, it does make me feel really, really happy to know that people enjoy watching my videos because I enjoy making them so, so, so much. Anyway, today I'm going to film a video that nobody's asked for and nobody cares about. I've also got an iced coffee, of course, even though it's freezing outside. I don't know where the sun's disappeared to, but it's rude, like... It's just completely disappeared. But today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial, an everyday makeup tutorial. I'm not a makeup artist, but I always forget what makeup I do um, when I go to do it. And it's always very natural. So I thought, why not, you know? Got nothing else to film. No, I do actually have some ideas, but they're gonna take a while. So I thought you might as well have this for now. <laughs> I guess I should get started. So, I'm really not a beauty girl. <laughs> this is going to be such a mess. So I start off by using concealer. I use the Fit Me Maybelline New York in 06. So I put this where I feel like I need it. My skin's really good at the minute. Touching wood. So I don't feel like I need foundation. Just dot that on and I'm going to put it around here because that's where I've got blemishes at the minute. And scarring. Is that right? You look cute, huh? Um, so I'm just gonna blend that out of my hand. I've been posting loads on TikTok lately. It's literally all I've been doing in my life because I've got no schoolwork to do. So I've been living my best life making TikTok. Still haven't gone viral yet though, which I'm fuming about. Like I want at least a one, a 10K video, like. And then I just like kind of wipe it away just because I don't like the whiteness looking. And then I'm done. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. No, um, we'll do bronzer. Um, I use the Hoola bronzer. It's got loads of black marks on it because I used to do eyeliner. And my eyeliner died. And I couldn't bother to buy a new one. So I just like push it down to get ink out. I've got a new one. Um, which is really pleasant to look at. But I don't need to use that yet. I use this brush. It's from MSQ. They're a brand on Amazon. They're really cheap brushes and they feel really nice. I then just carve up my face because I've got a chubby face. I was watching Nikki tutorials and she told me, well, <laughs> she didn't tell me, but she said if you've got a really round face, bring it down like that. Do you know what I mean? So you go down because, so I've started doing that and I think I look good. Why doesn't that look good? What? Why is it like I've been punched? I'm confused, but I'm gonna move on to the other side and let's hope it fixes itself. Also, can we appreciate my hair growth? Like... Why is this not working? Why does that side look good and that side doesn't? See? It works. There we go. It's hands. A lot of beauty gurus tell you don't use your hands. Use them. They work a treat. Also, I'm using the viewfinder, which is probably really annoying to watch. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. This is now when we use what we've learnt from TikTok. So I've got Benetint. This is probably really out of, yep, yeah, it's you should use this in 12 months. I've had this four years. Maybe, no, six years. Five or six years I've had this. And she's still in use. This either goes really well or really bad. So I'm gonna start off by doing my nose. I put it like there. There, got it, like there. 
on the middle of it because I think it makes it look really cute and buttony, which on my nose is Neva of the Soul. And then I get it and I try to be really gentle with it because it's quite bright, but I love blush. It's like my new favorite thing, I think, on my face. So I think blush really complements my features. I never used to wear it. I used to think it was pointless and then I started wearing it because I wanted to be a TikTok girl. And now look at me. I want to be TikTok girl. I use the Conspiracy palette. And I haven't actually used this for eyeshadow much. But I'm just going to use this pink here to add to the blush. You don't need a lot, honestly. Like... I've looked like a clown before. And see, you look like a clown, so you need to blend it out. I think that looks kind of cute. I've just realised my camera was on the wrong setting. So if it looks a bit weird, that's why. I'm now going to... What do I do now? Eyes, I'm guessing. We can try eyes. So I've got this. I've sold this off my mum. It's a NYX eye pencil in medium brown. Um, and I just put that in the corner like this. I'm just blend it out. You remember that that brush doesn't work for that. Um, and then you take from this palette, you only ever use the bottom row, and you take, I'd say, like this one and this one. Oh, this is why I don't own a successful YouTube channel. The two colours that you mentioned, and you just apply that to the line that you'd already created. You get this brush again. And you blend out. I'm gonna do that to my other eye. And I'll show you what I do next. Can you hear that wind? My window's closed. What the hell? I've just realized I've done this in a really weird order. I'm gonna wet some soap. And I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna ignore how dirty the brush is. So you wet your thingy. I just go straight in there. And then you get Gimme Brow. I've this in three. Don't know if that's my right shade, but. And then you just brush over the top to give a little bit of color. These are looking really awful, um, so that's fun. It kind of works, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but to do eyelashes. Curling my lashes is like my favorite thing ever. Um, Cause sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't. You never know what you're gonna get. And I think I love that element of surprise. If it hurts, stick through the pain, it'll be worth it. And then you get used to it after a while. See, a Vela. And I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one's a bit crusty now though. I'm now going to get this one. It's the very real one, but it's kind of dried up. So I just use the brush, but it kind of separates my lashes out and makes them look prettier. I get the roller lash. And just like, cause my lashes are quite long but they go really blonde at the end. Like, I just tickle the top of my lashes, it makes them look longer. And then you just admire yourself for a minute. And then you do the same to the other eye. Okay, can you see that? Oh my God, my brows look awful. Oh, that'll be an exciting reveal. I'll come down in a minute. My hospital results. So, my mascara is done. I'm just gonna go downstairs and get my hospital results because it's a bit bad that if I don't do them now. So, I'm back. We had family test result opening. I'm pretty much all good. There's a few tests that are a little bit high, but. And then, we just get this one. This is like my favorite highlights ever. I'm gonna get 
to um, the brush and I'm gonna just draw on some freckles. My freckles of where it was really, really sunny and I was sunbathing trying to get a tan. My freckles have really come out. And obviously I don't wear foundations, so they're still there, but I just wanna make them pop a little bit more. So I just put fake freckles I literally just dip the end of this brush into my my bronzer and tap it on my face. Obviously you could leave them like this if you wanted to, but it's not necessarily a very natural look. This would be quite cute if you was like dressing up as like, who's got freckles? Someone who's got freckles. Then you get the trusty contour slash bronzer brush and then I just push over them like so the freckles are done now lips i found this hack on tiktok <laughs> and i just use is it this one i think it's that one there the same brush we did our eyes with all i do is go underneath my lip like so and then bring it up but we do some to top lip So it looks like you've got lip liner on, and for me it looks a bit weird. But you're quite rough with it, and it just makes your lips look a little bit more pouty. I just get my out of date Benetint on my finger, just like on the inside. And then I just, I've got the Clarins like lip tint, not lip tint, um, lip comfort oil, it's really nice, it's moisturising. Pretty sure that is me done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe because actually there's over 60% of you watching my channel that aren't subscribed. It's free and I post every single week, sometimes more. Um, I've got some really exciting videos come up surrounding my 18th birthday if that interests you. If not, I'm sure there'll be something else that will be up your street. Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, Twitter if you want some boring content <laughs> if there's any other videos you would like to see in the future please let me know i am struggling now with ideas of what i can actually do whilst in lockdown so if you've got anything you want to see at all let me know and yeah i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching bye Ew.